Strasdwutsche and welcome back to Let's Play Kaiserreich. Legacy of the Weltkrieg. And on that note, I completely forgot actually in the earlier parts of this LP to mention that, well, this whole thing is inspired essentially by another Let's Play of Hearts of Iron 2, um, which is exceptionally good, um, by Joseph V. Stalin, the, um, the, the YouTuber, not, not the Soviet dictator. Um, he did a fantastic Hearts of Iron 2 Let's Play as Japan, um, which I'm actually going to put a link to in the description down below, and you can all watch that if you like. It's uh, it, it's pretty awesome. Like I said, it inspired me to do this, and he does a l much better job of explaining how the game works than I do as well. So, you know, if you're sort of still in the dark a little bit as to how Hearts of Iron works exactly how to play it uh you yeah, could give that a try um because this isn't hearts of iron 2 this is darkest hour but the darkest hour is sort of almost exactly the same as hearts of iron 2 with the diff only changes being a slightly different map and a few extra added features honestly it's just like an expansion pack really um so without further ado let us continue uh with our great soviet republic um just as a recap, what's going on, right? Sweden and Norway are still scrapping it out, even though Sweden's probably going to win very soon. Um, the Anarchists in Spain are beating the Carlists. Uh, America's still unchanged. It doesn't look like the Pacific States are going to re rejoin them. Although they are at peace for now. Japan has re-annexed and puppetized again uh, the Fantian Republic. And is at war with both the King Empire and Germany at this point. So that should be interesting to see how it turns out. It might boil down to a stalemate and have nothing happen, of course, but uh, you never know. Something cool or hilarious might happen, like Japan might invade Berlin or something, you never know. <laughs> Hearts of Iron can be incredibly strange like that sometimes. So yeah, anyway, um, let's have a look around. Let's, uh, right, our infantry divisions have currently upgraded to 1931. We can, however, build Infantry 1936, so that means we've got more upgrading to do. Yes, in fact, apparently we need 790 upgrades, <laughs> and we only have 15, I mean 15, 50 or so uh, actually allocated to it, but there's unfortunately nothing I can do about that. We'll just have to sit and wait for the updates to slowly tick over uh, while we do other stuff. We also need 7.44 reinforcements for some reason, however... What I'm actually going to do, I think, is I'll let the game run for a day and let it refresh all its um, info, because sometimes it can be a bit off. So, yeah. Alright, yeah, there we go. Right, so we still need 7.44 reinforcements, so let's bump that up to as close as I can get it on the slider. Unfortunately, unlike Hearts of Iron 3, you don't have a little button you can nice sort of press, so it, give, it bumps the slider to exactly the amount you need. You have to sort of get it as precise as you can, and... Uh, Ends up, you end up wasting a few bits of IC, but it's never too bad, so... Uh, we need over 20 supplies, right, I'll bump that up to 26. A little bit extra won't harm us. We could do with a larger stockpile anyway. Uh, consumer, we have like 5,993 money at this point, so consumer goods really isn't a problem. Neither do we have any descent, so... Yeah, I will bump that down to the minimum. And... Uh, I will... Lower upgrades, even though we need to make loads of them, and I will put some points into production because it's time to start building ship, essentially. I have decided we've put it off long enough, and if I put it off any longer, um, it'll be too late and Germany will invade or something, uh, which would be very bad. So, right, uh, let's put a factory in Petrograd and a few in the surrounding provinces. Uh, each point of industrial capacity, each factory you build, takes 5 IC, so we should be able to build a few of these with the 50 we've got spare. Put one in Moscow, one in Zagorsk, Sokukov, uh, Ryazan, Tula, home of a famous arms manufacturer, I think. Could be wrong, though. Kaluga, which for some reason has a random anti-aircraft gun emplacement in it. Um, and not a lot else. Just very strange, but anyway, there you are. Same for Bryansk, actually. Strange. Anyway, 
Um, so yeah, we do that. Uh, how many does that come to? It's quite a lot. They take a lot. It takes a little while to build. In fact, it could take up to a year, maybe more in some cases. Um, however, once you get more and more building, it becomes they sort of build up momentum, and it becomes faster to build them as well as easier to build them. And also, um, researching more text can make it faster too. So, but it will be worth it in the end. That's the main thing. So yeah, that's, that comes to 50, which means we're pretty much bang on. And we relieve the remaining 21 IC for upgrades, which will slowly, slowly take over in the meantime. So yeah, we'll have a quick look at the tech screen. Ah, right, okay, so we've got a free tech team, which I'm going to put into construction 1930, which will speed up the construction of our factories by about 10% or so. Which is good news, comrades. I think I'll put it on Grudsny Petroleum Company. Yeah, there we go. You also notice that I have more tech teams than I bef did before. And then the reason for that is um, through annexing other countries, and this is actually an option, uh, and you can turn it off in the main menu when you start the game, but um, the way I've got it set up is so that as you annex more countries, you actually get access to their tech teams um, which I feel actually makes quite a lot of sense because historically in towards the end of World War II the Allies and the Soviets went running around Germany um, looking for famous German scientists and the like uh, to haul back to America and Russia respectively um, to help them build things like rockets and uh, do nuclear research and this and that and the other so I think it makes sense to be able to uh, use the tech teams of nations you've uh, subjugated now then um, what was he researching what was he researching he was agrochemistry right so agriculture is now upgraded to 1937 and the next tier is 1945 so that's basically off the cards now completely um, for quite some time and again on manufacturing the next one is assembly line Experimentation, which is historical year 1940, which is three years ahead of us now. Well, two really, because it's December 1937 at the minute. Um, again, too far in the future. We've got other things to be dealing with. For instance, a little bit of air research wouldn't go amiss, and neither would some tank related research actually either. Um, some tanks would be good news a little bit later into the future. So, however, before we can actually build any tanks or research any more, we actually have to um, research the text that will allow us to do that. Because we're so far behind as Russia that we don't actually know how to build tanks in the first place. So we need to actually research, I think, a land doctrine which will allow us to do that. Um, right, yeah, we need to research large front first before we can activate armor formation armor yeah armor division formation which will then allow us to build tanks a bit later on but yeah not massive concern at the moment because we are focusing on infantry for now so probably going to put this on aircraft actually no I think I'll upgrade our artillery because some of our divisions are equipped with artillery so Ah, right, Alma Atta retaken. Uh, it loses some industrial capacity because it's of shitty quality, essentially. Uh, which is fine. Which is just dandy. And I'm going to reorganize some of these divisions on the Turkestan border because uh, they're our next target for simulation. So you chaps can go down there, you chaps can make your way over there you guys can go th there and that should be okay I'll bring them down from Orsk and put them do these guys have any victory points yes they do they have one at Tashkent and they also have a capital at Dushanbe yeah, if you're going to annex a country using victory points, you have to not only capture all their victory points, 
but you do also have to capture the capital. Now, with most nations, the capital city is a victory point, so that's not really a concern. But yeah, here, we're actually going to have to capture Tashkent and... Uh, there. So, I'm going to dump an extra bunch of divisions down here in Chimkent. Who can just power on down through here to get to these different places. Um... Though taking Duchambi could be a bit of a pain in the ass because it's a mountain province, but never mind. Sh mere mountains will not stop the mighty Red Army. How's it going down in Japan at the minute? I, I, I'm i actually thinking if, depending on how this war in Asia goes, if Japan starts to get really, really screwed over by, like, the King or even the Germans, I might actually swoop in and try and grab as much of Manchuria uh, as I can, and maybe even Korea as well, which would be good. Nice bonus of IC, and we'd probably puppetize Korea and turn it into um, a People's Republic. Add it to our list of allies. Rear area supply dumps. Uh, good news. Um, can he research? No, we've got to get people's army before we can have a large front. Uh, you can research early hospitals instead, I think. Do you have anyone with medical skill? No, we don't. So we'll just have to settle for... Hmm. I guess we can have Boris do it. Boris. Shalbozhnikov. I actually don't really have much of an idea who that was in real life. I think he was a Soviet general, but my knowledge of Soviet generals pretty much extends to Shukov and Chirikov, and that's sort of it, <laughs> really. Um, there were quite a lot of them, though, I must admit. Um, clergy criticised the government. Oh, yeah, see, this is what I mentioned before, that this is going to happen... I don't know if it's, like, a random occurrence or whether it just occurs sort of after a certain amount of time, but yeah, my national descent has been changed by plus one percent, because um, the conservative elements of the Orthodox Church are douchebags and they've basically just given us the middle finger. Progress cannot be stopped, says the message box, and I quite agree. What do we have Air Force Wise anyway? We have Tactical bomber wings, interceptors, some more interceptors. Our non aggression pact with Finland has expired. Oh my dear. Oh my goodness. Uh, not that I really care because I don't think I. I don't honestly think I've ever had Finland invade me as the Soviet Union or Russia or whoever um, on this game. I think their independence is guaranteed by Germany anyway, so I wouldn't want to kick anything off with them. Even though they do have one or two provinces I, I, I'd quite like. Um, but yeah, no, it's not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. It's quite a pain actually if you go the Civil War route actually, uh, when you're playing as the Communists, because the Finns sweep in and take a whole bunch of lands up here and stuff. Uh, which could be a real pain in the ass. Oh, a policy can be changed. Right, okay. So, we shall move it a point... Hmm. I've noticed we have quite an open society, actually, which is odd. Um, which means our descent grows a hell of a lot faster, actually. Although the descent in, our, in occupied provinces, uh, so provinces we take from the enemy, is a lot lower, which I suppose is quite good. Um, does it negatively affect our army counterintelligence though? I think. No mind, I'll just leave it as it is. We'll be a, apparently we're, ring, we're we're incredibly open, sort of. Well, we're not democratic. Cause like the slide at the top here says we're authoritarian, but we're very open. Which I, I'm going to be honest doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but whatever. <laughs> Fine. Um. I'll leave that as it is, since you know, it doesn't really make much of a difference either way. I think I will move Hawk Lobby one over, though, since we're quite close to Dove Lobby for some reason. Despite the fact that we went for the Berserk Trotskyist route, so I would have thought it'd be quite 